Okay. Greetings and salutations. I always have such a hard time with this introduction after that. Hi, I'm Nikki. Welcome to my channel, Midlife Adulting. I talk about, I mean, adulting. I talk about finances. I talk about exercise and movement. I talk about health. I talk about all of the things that adulting entails. And hopefully you are coming back and watching. Welcome. Thank you for coming back if you're new here. Thank you for stopping by. If you enjoy what you see, I would love it if you could give the video a like and subscribe. Consider subscribing to the channel for future videos. So I just wanted to give a general update today on how everything is going because it's been a few days since my last video. I'm not ready to put out more budgeting content, but yet I done my finances for the week and I feel like I should and I just thought I would talk at you for a little bit. So first, my first update, this walking challenge, this 165 mile walking challenge. You would think that I would be 50 miles in at this point, but no, 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 no. Uh, of the 165 miles, I have logged 7.2 miles, which is a 4% completion. I know I can do better and it's really a shame that I'm not doing better already because it's getting hot, like really hot and like uncomfortably hot. Like I'm sitting here right now without the fan on in the room and I'm like starting to sweat already. And that is not ideal walking conditions for me. Ideal walking conditions for me are 40 degrees, 50 degrees, 60 degrees, like cool mornings or cool afternoons. And we are, we have moved past those in the weather for June, almost summer. So I need to get better at that. I am working on a tracker for myself that I can physically write down my progress instead of using the app. So this local challenge that's celebrating its 10th year this year apparently is has an app that we can it's really just a website but it works like I have it on saved on my desktop so it's an app and it lets me log my miles write down whether I walked ran or cycled where I did it whether I did it at home in the neighborhood in a gym uh, specific trails in the area and I think I just need a paper copy that I can show and demo. So I'm working on that and I'm, I'm looking forward to having that because I think I can tie in a savings challenge with it. Like every mile I log, I save myself a dollar or even just a quarter, like anything at this point to keep me motivated. And right now saving money keeps me motivated. I, speaking of keeping motivated, I came out with another challenge for myself or for anyone who is interested in it. Let me switch camera angles. So this is what my writing challenge looks like. Reading challenge, oh my gosh, have I been saying writing this whole time? I really hope not. Well, it's a bookworm savings challenge. I used to be a certified bookworm. I read during class when I was in high school, I read at work in the wee hours of the night when I was working third shift. I read everywhere and I'm out of the habit. So what I would let, wanted to do was create something that would help me motivate, motivate me to read more. So what I have is for my fellow bookworms, read for each book read, color in one spine and save $1 for every star you would give that book in a review up to $5. With 41 books on those shelves, you could save up to $205, which is appealing to me. So I can't actually use this because I haven't finished a book, but I am working on a book right now. This is the book I'm reading. It is nonfiction. Building a story brand, clarify your message so customers will listen, use the seven elements of great storytelling to grow your business. And this is interesting to me for multiple reasons. One, I fancy myself a writer or I did 
at least until recently when I fell off the wagon, um, COVID took it out of me. But I do have some books up for sale. And I just, it appeals. It appeals to me so much. So I am, the other thing is why most marketing is a money pit. I am in marketing right now. I stumbled into the position, but I love it. I enjoy what I do. I enjoy being able to be so creative. And so this also applies to my job. And I am 30 pages in. I need to keep going, but for a 223 page book, I can get this done. And I sh normally, like in my past life, I could have this done in a weekend or a day if I was really into it. And now it shouldn't take me more than a week. It definitely shouldn't take me more than a month. And I've been working on it for some time. So this is the book I'm on. This is going to be the first book of this challenge that I do. And I'm going to pick the biggest book to color in. Le save how much I, th I think I would review it for, whether it would, would be on Goodreads or Amazon. And then I'm actually going to leave the review, which is important for me because as a, as a writer, reviews are important. Just like as a YouTuber, comments are important that people, you know, engage with the post is important that people engage with your book. So I will leave the review and that is my new savings challenge. This is also what I'm reading. I see I wrote a little note of my updates and those are two of them. Okay, hopefully this is close to where you were before. One of the other things I wanted to update on was budgeting. I said in my last video that I was going to set a goal. That was the brief overview. As I rewrote it, I added a budget goal, a savings goal, a financial goal to hold myself accountable. And originally I meant for that to be a dollar amount that I'm saving for. But then I realized I kind of need to step back and make it more something, not something I can control per se, but I need to make it more, let me, let me tell you what the goal I set was. To check in every week here on my YouTube channel with you guys to show budgeting progress and struggles because holy cow, for me, this is a struggle. I, I worked with the budget sheets I set up this weekend when I paid the bills and I used the action page. I wrote in what I actually paid for bills. I renamed some categories. I even added a variable expense that it occurred to me would be important. And I don't know, man, it still doesn't feel quite right. One of the things that I would like to have this sheet do for me is show me each week what I should be setting aside to pay, you know, these bills on time. I don't know that I will pay things bi-weekly, but I will definitely pay things monthly when they, as they come up and I want to know, okay, listen, if I just paid my mortgage this last week, then the next paycheck, I need to save half of 790. We're going to say 400 because that's just easy. I need to set aside $400 so that when I look at my bank balance and I see that there is $1,000 in there, I know that $400 of it is for my mortgage and that $100 of it is for a loan repayment and that um, $200 is, or $100 of it is for a credit card repayment. And I think having multiple columns, even, even four columns, but maybe just two, will help me keep on on task, I guess. We're gonna see. The other thing that I did use, I'm sorry, I'm not flipping you these the camera back down for these, but I did use the savings list spending calendar that I made based on the Budget Moms spending calendar. I don't know if it's that I haven't used it enough, 
because I don't spend and it's almost like I need to update it at the end of the week. I don't know yet. I don't know how I feel. It's very empty, but I also just started. I started in the middle of the month, so I shouldn't expect too much, but I'm still, I don't know, I'm still worked up about it. So yes, I added a variable expense. I am also considering taking household out of groceries because for me, groceries category has always been anything I buy at the grocery store, which means when I buy shampoo, conditioner, soap, when I buy trash bags, when I buy, um, what else do I buy at the store? But if I buy a light bulb, if I go, you know, to Target and I get some groceries, but I also get household items, I'm still counting that as a grocery store expense. Well, in my head, I have been, I haven't actually been doing that because I haven't actually had a budget going, but I'm hoping that will bring my groceries budget help it become more achievable because I had been setting aside $200. It used to be a hundred bucks a week, guys, like prices of everything is just skyrocketing up right now. Last week, the last two weeks, I spent $250 at this grocery store and I'm really afraid that that is my new budget limit. I know part of the reason my grocery budget is high is because we eat a lot of pre-packaged processed foods, uh, frozen pizza, pints of ice cream, chicken, processed chicken, patties, um, hamburgers, uh, mac and cheese and boxes and stuff like that. But the other part is that I am counting that household stuff. So if the garbage bags are $10, that's $10. That's actually for the house and not to feed us. And I feel like groceries needs to be the things that feed us. And then if it's not a thing, but it's for the house and whether that's for the kitchen or like a baking dish or whether that is a storage container, like a Tupperware or a Ziploc, feels like that needs to go under household or cleaning chemicals, you know, so we're going to see. So I might need to increase groceries to 250, but I also need, I think, and I better write that down because I didn't write it down on the sheet. Household would be where do I put groceries? Oh, variable expenses. All right. So let me write it under alcohol and bars household. Groceries is food. Household is house. That should be obvious, but if I don't write it down, that's where I am kind of. I'm really excited. I'm I haven't made any other progress on my gratitude challenge, but I'm kind of enjoying it and looking forward to being able to put more back. I actually do have some cash and I thought about cash stuffing a little bit, but I think I'm going to save it for another week. And I'm really excited about this one because this is not just, there's something physical behind it. There is, there's a book read. There is one more interaction than just a thrown dice or, and I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with challenges that you'd dice or, or scratch offs or luck or anything like that. Those are all very cool as I see people participating in those challenges and other people who have budgeting channels. I'm, I, I, I kind of like, oh, maybe I need something like that. But for right now, to have a book read behind it, it kind of pulls in other things that I want to be incorporating into my life and adulting um, so yeah one other thing that I did this week I addressed my internet bill so my internet bill has been a hundred and twenty four dollars it's been hundred twenty four dollars for a while it must have been five or six years ago now I called and I lowered our internet speeds because the kids weren't on their phones all the time. I'm not even sure the kids had cell phones at that point. So maybe it's been longer than five or six years, but I lowered our internet speeds to get a lower bill and it went down to like $75, but then it went into the creep and it started moving up and up and up and up and stalled at 125. This week or um, this month with the internet bill, 
there was a credit from a, a settlement of some sort. And so my bill was only $25. And I was like, oh, Let, it was also a lot thicker than usual. They included all of the charges listed for their services. And I saw that I was getting 25 mega, megabits per second down and four up, which is why it takes quite so heckin' long to upload videos. So I get myself on the chat bot on Sunday and I ask, is there any other deals that are available that can help me increase my speed, but keep my bill about the same? And indeed there was. So I am now at the 100 down and 25 up level, which is th the lowest level that they actually list on their rate sheet. Um, but still it's faster than what we had and so far, I haven't, like, my TikToks have installed when I'm trying to watch them with my kid. Um, so I'm pretty excited about that. It was about 45 minutes on the chat bot with, well, not, it wasn't a bot. It was a bot at first and then it was a human. But it was about, you know, 45 minutes with this person, you know, waiting for them to see what they could do, arranging an appointment for the tech to come out all of the adulting things and what i really enjoy about being able to no negotiate this particular bill is i can do it on the computer i don't have to call someone in they can do it all by chat they ask for your address they get a phone number for you and they just can take care of it um i don't even need to give them my account number and they can which is probably a little weird but it might have informational matches so i wonder if you could just do that for anyone well no because then they sent an email out at any rate, on Monday, they came out, they swapped out my modem, gave us a new modem. They s did something at the behind the house, at the wires, at the junction power lines, and we have faster internet. And I'm going to test how well it uploads because usually I need to take my videos to work to upload them because it's just so slow. Maybe it'll be more reasonable now. Fingers crossed. That is, in fact, all of my updates, more or less. Those are all the notes I took, and this is probably a considerable length, so we're going to stop. I have my, I will have this linked in the description below, the bookworm challenge, in case you're interested in doing it with me. I also currently have linked this challenge. If anyone is interested, and I'm not going to post just for just for myself, if anyone's interested in seeing what kind of books I wrote, I am welcome or I'm happy to post the link to my Amazon so that someone can check it out. But otherwise, we can just leave this finances until I actually start writing again. I actually don't feel hatred towards the idea of writing any longer. For a while, I did. COVID, thank you very much. But yeah, we'll see how that goes. So thank you for watching so far. If you are still here, what kind of savings challenges are you working on? Do you have any new savings goals? Have you done a particular adulting task lately that you didn't think you could get done and then you managed to overcome it? And that's all I got. Good luck on your own challenges and your own savings journeys and I will catch you next time. Bye-bye.